Welcome into the Oklahoma's Video Studio, Dave Morris alongside my friends from downtown OKC Partnership, uh, Danielle Dodson, Riley Cole. Always good to see you ladies. Good, good to see you. you. Uh, thank you for your time this morning. When I last saw you was, uh, I think yesterday, I was just leaving Bricktown. Steve Blackmire was uh, talking with you guys, your mm -hmm. colleagues, uh, taking a tour of the Bricktown Canal and the Oklahoma River and how that all mm -hmm. connects. And uh, you guys were kind of doing a little bit of walking about and brainstorming. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful area and it's a great place to walk in between, but a lot of people don't know how easy it is to get from one to the other um, just because there's no real good signage. And so we, you know, got together with Mike Knopp and Steve and uh, Chad Huntington and kind of just walked the space to see what improvements could be made and what the possibilities are. So we're brainstorming and hopefully in the future we can get something that can help cool. visitors know how to get between the two because it's super easy. It actually really is. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people may be confused about that, but it is super easy. Mike Knopf with the Boathouse District, Chad Huntington with the, uh, the Bricktown Water Taxis. And I believe Chad has something new now that you can buy tickets and or get on the boats yeah. in multiple destinations, not just that one spot. Yeah. There's an app. So if you go just to Bricktown, I think watertaxi.com, um, you can just pay online and they just scan your QR code and you can actually use it like a taxi. Just hop on and cool. hop off and go to eat lunch and then go to heyday or do whatever and just use it as like a transportation in addition to like a tourist attraction so hmm. that reminds me let me just throw some questions at you guys <laughs> yeah. the the meters that we see now on the downtown streets that that is also uh, you can pay by phone or by app or something. I've, I've seen that on some of them. Have you tried it yet? I haven't used I have your not. phone yet. Is that implemented? That's new. I well, knew it was I happening, but I didn't know, is I it active? See, maybe I saw that over by City Hall. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, but, I think well, that's the long-term plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, right now, I think you still have to go back to the meters, but I do think they're working on that. So if it has been implemented, I'm not. Maybe they just haven't sure. implemented it near our office yet. Right. If it's not on Robert Kerr, I probably don't know about it. Yeah. Another, another question on that. Uh, educate me on how these meters work. Now you, you plug in your license plate yeah. uh, and then the duration of time, but then you're done, right? You don't have to go back to the car and put it in? You don't yeah. have to how put do, a sticker in your car right. anymore. Or how does that this, work? How do they know? Uh, they don't even weird. have to get out of the parking. Um, Attendance. Attendance. I almost said meter maids, but that's not appropriate anymore. It's way back in the day. It's, yeah, they, you don't have to get <laughs> back out. Back in the day of the milkman. <laughs> all, all people do it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they just drive over and like look at your license plate and like punch it in. And so they'll know, and they only get out of the car now to actually issue you a ticket. So if you see them getting out of the car, Bad you need a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> you better hustle because yep. they mean business at that point. But it's a lot easier than it was before as long as you um, know your license plate. So just snap a picture of it when you're walking over to the meter, punch it in, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually put it in my notes on my phone. So yeah. I'm, I'm now I actually remember it because I've, I've done it a few times, but yeah. Yeah, I've kind of, parked on the street too many times. I have it memorized. <laughs> Good stuff. See the things you learn on this segment. All right. Uh, there are various events coming up in the uh, downtown urban core. Some of these are very interesting to me. Um, Mother's Day coming up this weekend. Next week, uh, the Art Museum has its third Thursdays. Yeah, third Thursdays um, is, is a new e event series that they're doing at the museum. So traditionally, um, they would have the five dollars um, discount on Thursdays and that's still happening and they have the extended hours but on the third, third Thursdays they're having um, special promotions so extra activities that you can do um, so highly programmed so this Thursday or this coming Thursday so Thursday Thursday the 17th <laughs> is going to be Adam and Kizzy. There's going to be um, live music. The rooftop's going to open, be open and it's still $5 and they'll have drinks um, and a ton of stuff going on. I think that the you'll still have access to their exhibitions right now, which is the Serenity of Madness and the new art. Um, and then in addition, they actually have some animation um, experimentation so you can create your own animated movie. So come with really? your friends and do some fun, uh, learn some fun animation art. Hmm. Very cool. Of course, remember Adam and Kizzy from uh, a couple of their deals, um, including playing opening night, or yeah. not opening night, the uh, tree lighting tree ceremony. Lighting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think they're branding right now. Are they doing like a play on the Kehinde Wiley? Oh, Have I haven't seen, seen it. Stuff? It's pretty cool. They're like on the pattern backgrounds with like their pattern or what? Smart. It looks pretty cool. That That's is cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and very appropriate for the museum since that was like mm -hmm. one of their past exhibitions. 
Yeah, and how cool was that? Then he did the uh, Obama artwork as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he has two pieces at the 21C Museum. Okay. So they just got new art um, this last weekend or weekend before last, and uh, really amazing pieces there. Cool. All right, OKCMOA.com, I believe, is the website for the uh, Museum of Art on the third Thursday coming up May 17th from 5 to 9 p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. The night before on May 16th, something interesting, uh, Pecha Kucha? Yeah, Pecha Kucha is awesome. Um, it's a fun way to, to network and meet cool creatives. Um, it started in 2003 in Tokyo, and it's kind of spread to over a thousand cities. So it's pretty cool that Oklahoma City has their own chapter of kind of Pecha Kucha, and it happens at Plenty Mercantile, and it's different creatives in, in the community or not necessarily even creatives anymore. I think I it's spread Tracy to... saw Tracy Zeke was on the lineup. Yeah. JB was among those. JB is there. Um, and then Meredith Van Sant, she owns 405 Yoga in Midtown and cool. she does a lot of amazing community events. She's going to be talking um, as well. So it's 20 slides, 20 seconds, and they just kind of... For, it forces you to get through the slides. Um, I think the theory was that creatives could talk forever about yeah. what project they're working a on. A wondering conversation. Yeah. This is a little so bit this more is structured, structured and it forces you to get through the slides. Um, but then there's co cocktails, or not cocktails, beer beforehand and snacks, um, kind of just for a networking opportunity and then you get to see what these amazing people in the community are doing. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fun. Interesting. That's May 16th, starts at 6 p.m. Uh, as she mentioned at the Plenty Mercantile. All right, now we were talking Bricktown earlier. A place that people do know how to find is the uh, Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark, mm -hmm. the Big 12 Baseball Tournament, which brings a ton of people uh, into Oklahoma City, is May 23rd through the 27th, and we should also mention that it's coming back, the Bricktown Beach. It is. It's coming back. So the Bricktown Beach will launch like Memorial Day weekend, okay. and it kicks off with the Big 12 tailgating party. Um, and so that's on May 24th, but then the tournament goes the 23rd to the 27th. Oh, there's our new Bricktown Beach branding. Nice, it looks great. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So the 23rd to the 27th is a Big 12 baseball tournament, and this is a double elimination tournament that features like the best of the best in the Big 12. Oh, you and OSU are both having good seasons this year, especially yeah, OSU. Indeed. indeed. OSU won last year, right? The championship? Not going to say I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but you made me laugh. Go Obama. Oh. Man, great photos. Bricktown yeah. Beach, we're super excited about it. It's getting a facelift, getting some new seating and shade. And actually, um, there's going to be like staff on hand that can check out games and just monitor it a little differently this year. And so we're super excited about it. And it's always a hit. It's open 24-7. It's free and open to the public. And then just later in the summer, July 20th, we are having my so-called band. They're going to cool. be doing a concert. So that'll be super fun. So kicks off Memorial Day weekend with a Big 12 championship. And then on May 24th is the tailgating party. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That branding, um, were those beach umbrellas slash beach ball kind of all tied together right there. Yep. Yeah. Is that what I'm looking at? That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very creative. It's good, Looks yeah. good. Awesome. I believe you had movie nights at some point last year. Any we chance did. of that coming back? This year, we're, we're going to take a, take a break on the movie night. Okay. We kind of have to choose between the concert or the gotcha. movie night. And securing my so-called band was a, was a big win for us. So we're going to just nice. put all our efforts into that. And then... But you can be on the lookout for a different movie night that's going to be happening in Deep Deuce, and that'll be like early fall, so that'll be happening in September, and it's going to be called Deep Deuce Director's Cuts, and it's actually a new event for us, so I think it'll be a fun way to activate that neighborhood, um, and it'll be like a double feature, think like cult classics. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, also coming up, the rescheduled Midtown Walkabout. That's May 19th. Yes, May 19th, 2 to 6. It's finally here. So we have this pretty map, which I think Paige... <laughs> I think she has some of this. So nice. it has on here all the businesses and everything you can do, including all the free activities. And then there's also the map of where all the businesses are and everything else. Oh yeah, look at that. So we have over 30 participating businesses, everything from yoga to hotels, to restaurants, to clothing stores, all the things. And then there's also a handful of free activities, including face painting. There's going to be free outdoor yoga. So that'll be at the lot at 10th and Hudson, where the pop-ups usually are. Mm -hmm. And that's at <clears> 2 o'clock. 
Um, so that's free outdoor yoga. We are also featuring a pop-up bocce ball court. So oh. this is gonna be a semi-permanent like bocce ball installation that's coming to Midtown, um, but we're just gonna do like a pop-up grill Just to kind of tease it, yeah. yeah. Now is that what I saw on various social media uh, outlets yesterday? That might have been. Of you guys yes. <laughs> well, we realized working. that we didn't all know how to play. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I, I was I one of them. Yeah. It's actually so much fun, I am so psyched. I think I will use the bocce ball court since it's only you know, two blocks away from my apartment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is where I will be socializing with my friends. Yes. And I, it's going to be a really cool thing. So it's coming in at 9th and Hudson, so right across from Barrios. And there's going to be oh, like gotcha. two bocce ball courts. There's going to be some new planters with nice plants and seating and a shade structure. Um, it's going to be really cool and just another part of our placemaking efforts at DOKC. So that'll be happening this summer. Mm -hmm. um, but you can check it out, just a semi permanent pop up at the Midtown Walkabout. The Midtown Walkabout again, May 19th, uh, that afternoon from 2 to 6. Yes. That is quite the emerging area right there because the next thing we're going to chat about is the collective OKC. Yeah, yeah. that is um, to open later this year. They don't have a release date for the open date, but they're currently um, requesting any chefs to apply for, for their one of their seven slots. Um, so it's a food hall, so it's going to be a multi um, chefs having their own kitchen, supplying lunch, um, breakfast, dinner, and um, they're gonna have over 32 local beers on tap, so it's gonna be very local um, and lots of options. I, in the renderings, there's like ping pong tables, outdoor seating, it looks like a really um, fun space. I think there is even seating on their rooftop on one side, so some good views of, of downtown and midtown. And this um, is to directly across the street from the Blue Garden, right? Yes, it is on the... Yeah, southwest corner at 10th and Harvey. Kayla Baker and the crew there uh, behind some of the development of that, I believe, or perhaps all of the development of that. That'll be an interesting space. Now, if mm -hmm. if you were, let's say, put on your chef hat, to <laughs> to uh, you know, apply for this, what would your food be? Ooh, I got it. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so one of my favorite foods from outside of Oklahoma is a currywurst. What so, is that? Um, so is that what you got in New York that yes, one day? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's it's like a uh, you can you pick your sausage. I like bratwurst, and then they use like this ketchup curry paste, oh, nice. and they drizzle. It's warm, and they drizzle it on top of it, and it's just sliced up, and you eat it with these little wooden toothpicks, and then they serve it with bread, and it's like a, I think it's a. German sta staple, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but I it's like really curry. good. I like the bratwurst. So. There you go. There you go. I've I've been perfecting it in my own kitchen, and um, I'm not quite ready to apply, but <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody else has. Yeah, I think my go-to and what I've always like had a dream for is to open just like that classic diner, kind of like you know in Tulsa, what's it called? Like Dilly Diner. Okay. Ooh, I don't know. Anyway, but it's just like classic diner food, hamburgers, French fries. I think that's what I go for. Mm. Interesting. Get a good onion burger in there. And I mentioned that because you can go to the Collective OKC's website, uh, and there are a couple of forms mm -hmm. that you could get on the action. Yeah, sign up and audition. I think that they're just doing like a pop up where you will make your meal, and then they're mm -hmm. them and their partners and friends will will come out and judge that's and then pick cool. <laughs> um, who's going to be in there, which I think is great. Yeah, that's interesting. What, what I think the operating partner is Jenny Wynn, and yep. she um, works with Lee's Sandwiches. So um, she has some restaurant experience, they so she'll be a good judge for sure. What, what would yours doing? be? You know, I it's similar to yours. I think it would be some sort of a meatball concept, which oh. I believe is coming online. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, Meatball um, House, I think. Andrew Black, Chef, mm -hmm. Chef Black, yeah. I believe, is going to be behind that. I saw a meatball concept, we're getting way off topic here, <laughs> in, in San Diego, food, but it yeah. worked well and you could put any sort of, you can dress up, dress up a meatball in many different ways, much like yeah. a biscuit could be, breakfast right. or you right. know, savory lunch. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. Breakfast meatball. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'm completely getting us off topic here. Um, oh. But um, a couple other things. You mentioned uh, you would be at the, bo the bocce ball court in Midtown. Bike to work day is coming up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so, so just traversing the town was <laughs> kind of the segue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just yesterday, um, our mayor, Mayor Holt, um, proclaimed next Friday, May 18th, as Oklahoma's Bike to Work Day, or Oklahoma City's Bike to Work Day. And um, Oklahoma City, um, the city of OKC, and us, and ACOG have all worked together for 
to have a planned ride to the Miri Gardens. So um, if you are in Mesta or Plaza, um, even Will Rogers Trail, they'll have a trail that's coming all the way to the Miri Gardens. Um, meet for your ride. There's different times, start times between 7.15 and 7.23, depending on how far you are from the core. Um, and then meet at the Miri Gardens between 7.15 and 9 for free coffee from Junction Coffee. And then I think that they're going to have a breakfast item too. I don't know if it's coffee cake or toast, but um, courtesy of DOKC, we're, we want everybody to, to experience riding to work and we want to reward you with coffee and food. <laughs> <laughs> cool deal. Um, in addition to seeing you guys yesterday, I also saw you both at the marathon oh, yeah. that morning. You guys were covering and uh, hanging out with family and supporting those who were running. You had your scooter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Which I, I think could qualify as ride to work. Yeah. It's not exactly bike. I, I, uh, I will be riding a bicycle on Friday, but a uh, fun thing that my husband and I do is scoot around. And so if you see anybody on uh, a, a larger cool. larger than child size scooter, <laughs> it's a, not kick, a, razor. a kick scooter, not a motorized one, because oh. there's some people around those, that's probably You're me. You're right. It's, it is kind of in between <laughs> motorized and the razor, but it looked really cool. People are into it until they realize I am using my my body power to kick it and then they're like oh I'll probably pass on that <laughs> it's fun though it was really good to zoom around the the course it so. actually looked like you really could get around pretty fast yeah that thing, you so. slowed me down when I started hanging out with you <laughs> Sorry. It's your fault. much like this segment is just oh. random conversation all right let's wrap this up uh, speaking of that cycling public art tour yeah that's another um, thing happening this weekend it's May 12th and that's a the city of OKC is putting that on, and I believe Brian Chambers with the museum is going to be um, kind of leading and talking that tour. Uh, they will be making stops throughout um, downtown and all the way over to the plaza walls and then back. So you can see sculptures like the galaxy that's in outside Leadership Square and hear about that, um, and go all the way to Bricktown, the Centennial Land Run Monument. So some really great public art, um, and you get to see it all for $20. Um, bring your own bike or hop on a Spokies. Interesting. Is Spokies expanding? I think that they're stations? trying to to do some more stations. I don't know how far outside of like the downtown core currently, mm -hmm. but I think that they are having those conversations. It sure, sure seemed like a good idea from the beginning, and it seemed like it's been pretty successful. And there's been requests on social media. People are like, "I would love it if you were all the way up to 23rd or in Plaza or yeah. Capitol Hill." So. Well, I believe they had mentioned it in the chat that Steve had with Mike Knopp about having one at the Boat Roadhouse House. District. Yeah, yeah that'd be awesome. that was part of the conversation. Speaking of that, that Land Run monument you mentioned, I hadn't seen that in, I guess, a little while. It reminded me how large that structure Massive. is. Massive. It is. Yeah. I forget how many sculptures there are, but they are larger larger than life and yeah. very impressive to, to walk up on. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right, finally, there are some new businesses popping up. Yes, so just to touch on them really quick, Capitals Ice Cream and Coffee is coming to Midtown. So yeah. the signage has been there for a while, so that's expected to open this summer. So definitely excited. I think it'll be a staple place to go in Midtown. Is that on Walker? It's on Hudson, Hudson. right? Yeah, yeah, it's like right across where Bocce Ball Courts are going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, right four or five barrios. yoga, barrios, the chiropractic, chiropractic house, house. Um, gotcha. all that stuff in that Swanson's tire yep. okay. structure. And then also I just saw yesterday that um, Katie Bugs, which is going into the old Sarah Sarah space um, on 9th Street okay. is painted like a baby blue. It's so cute. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, it's so cute. Good pop of color across mm -hmm. the street from that pink from Oklahoma yep. Collective. Yeah. So. so they're opening soon. So definitely excited to have them in Auto Alley and I think they'll be slammed during the summer for sure, mm -hmm. and wintertime with their hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. yep. mm, hot cocoa is so good. <laughs> all right, there you have it. More, uh, more information and events, schedules, all sorts of stuff can be found on the website at downtownokc.com. Wow, we covered a lot of ground there. Yeah, yeah we did. it was a lot. It was busy as summertime, or right. almost summertime. <laughs> and, and you see right there, V-dubs Feels on like summer alley. today. All sorts of things <laughs> happening. Ladies, I appreciate it. Good job. Thanks Thank for having you. us.